Welcome to Flow Cytometry Reinvented with the Attune Cytometer. Through the use of breakthrough acoustic focusing technology, the Attune Cytometer achieves more precise cell alignment and higher data quality than traditional flow cytometers. This tutorial will highlight the following key performance advantages of the Attune Acoustic Focusing Cytometer. Improved population segregation through more accurate and precise data. And rare event detection in a fraction of the time it takes using a traditional flow cytometer. To illustrate these advantages, we'll be following a researcher through a cellular analysis workflow. She is expressing a growth factor gene in cultured cells and would like to see the effects of this on cell cycle and on the expression levels of a related cell surface receptor. The traditional cytometer she's using has three sample introduction rate buttons, low, medium, and high. In the past, she's found that using a low sample introduction rate on the cytometer gives higher data accuracy and precision. And this is critical to distinguish the phases of the cell cycle. Let's take a look at why low sample introduction rates in traditional cytometers generally give more accurate and precise data. At a low sample introduction rate, say 10 microliters per minute, the sample stream is introduced to fast-moving sheath fluid and the force exerted by the rapid flow pulls the sample stream along and stretches it into a narrow core region. This serves to reduce the area that the cells can occupy to a narrow core and to move the cell's single file through the laser beam and data collection area. If we look at a cross-section of a beam of laser light, we see that it's not the regular circle we may have imagined. It is more elliptical in shape, with the edges of the beam having lower intensity than the center. At a low sample introduction rate, all of the cells pass through the laser beam at the maximum intensity region, and the data collected have low variability. The problem for our researcher is that data acquisition using a low sample introduction rate can take hours. To save time, she might be tempted to use a high sample introduction rate, say 100 microliters per minute. However, as we increase the sample introduction rate, we can see that the sheath fluid is less effective at aligning the cells in the center of the core flow. As a result, cells can occupy any position across this broader core, and, as they pass through the data collection point, some of the cells will pass through the less intense part of the laser beam. The variability in laser illumination experienced by the cell population introduces variability into the data. Consequently, when the data are plotted, the different phases of the cell cycle are not well distinguished. Fortunately for our researcher, the revolutionary technology in the Attune Acoustic Focusing Cytometer solves these problems. The key to the Attune Cytometer's improved data accuracy and faster analysis times lies in the Acoustic Focusing Chamber. Prior to entering the data collection area, high-frequency sound is generated using a piezoelectric device, which produces a standing wave in the sample capillary. The cells in the presence of this standing wave become very precisely aligned in the center. Because the cells are aligned independently of the sheath flow force, they remain aligned even though the sample core may widen. Therefore, no matter what sample rate is selected on the attuned cytometer, each cell moves through the most intense part of the laser beam. In this way, signal variability in the attuned cytometer is reduced by precisely aligning the cells in the center of the beam. And because the data are less variable, our researcher can have greater confidence that the cell cycle results are accurate and precise, no matter which sample introduction rate she chooses. Now it's time for our researcher to analyze the same transfected cells for changes in the expression levels of her cell surface receptor of interest. After transfection, the cell surface molecule was expressed in only a few cells in the entire population, a rare event. This means that our researcher must analyze a large number of cells to accurately determine the proportion of rare cells that express the receptor. The cell surface receptor assay is a lice, no wash assay, so the cell concentration is typically low by the time the sample is ready to analyze, around 50,000 cells per milliliter. To confidently assess the percentage of the subpopulation of expressing cells, our researcher needs to collect data from at least 200,000 events. This translates to a total acquisition time of 40 minutes per sample, 
or about six and a half hours for an experiment with 10 samples. The Attune cytometer can analyze cells at a rate of one milliliter per minute. That's about 10 times as fast as the highest sample introduction rate on most traditional cytometers. In this case, the same sample would run in only four minutes in the Attune cytometer, and over a 10 sample experiment, that translates to a total of 40 minutes. So our researcher gets accurate, rare event data in much less time. In summary, the Attune Acoustic Focusing Cytometer delivers higher data accuracy and higher sample throughput. This gives our researcher more confidence in experiments that rely on well-separated cell populations, such as cell cycle analysis, and shortens the time it takes her to gather data on rare events.